Hello and welcome to Maxi's Fun Time. This is Maxi and we are back here on Feed the Beast presents Sky Factory 2.5. Uh, I'm going to run over here real quick. Uh, last episode I just let my mana build up and we went ahead off camera and made the orchid here. And if you want to know how to make it, we'll just press R here. No. R. And it's just in the petal apothecary. You need two gray, two red, two green, two yellow. And we're going to put this to use today. <laughs> uh, I am going to make everything automated. But uh, for right now, all I want to do is get the block placer, place some blocks. And then I can break them myself with my pick here. And we should be all good. Uh, eventually, I want an autonomous activator. Uh, uh, breaking them and also I want to get another uh, Ignis extruder popping out um, smooth stone so we'll get that hooked up of, uh, probably on the next episode or between episodes because I've already done one of those now let's go in here and take out these guys I love the fact oh, I don't know if I got enough uses on here to take all these guys out Another, another beheading. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go heal my uh, ooh, bag. Nice. Yeah, let's go. Put some more repair on this. So those of you who don't know what this does, uh, you haven't been watching my videos. Just go back and watch my videos. <laughs> I've used this in one more uh, past game, but I didn't really automate it. I just showed it off, and uh, we kind of just like ended the series before we even got to use it real good. And we are going to use it real good in this one. There we go. Actually, I think I'm just going to max it out. There we go. So, Minecon was this weekend, and I have spent the weekend watching the Minecon live stream. I am finishing up the last three hours of it um, because I had to go do some other stuff and I didn't have time to uh, finish watching the live stream. Luckily, they put it all on YouTube after the live stream, so every bit of the stuff is is up online on uh, oh, well, Team Mojang. Mojang has their own YouTube channel, so... I'll, I'll leave the link to the channel and also to the two videos for day one and day two. So hopefully that will help you guys out. Um, we're going to go rest. Put some of this stuff up. I believe I got some treasure bags, which we'll open here in a few minutes. And the first thing we want to do is make... Okay. A block placer. Uh... I don't remember how this one works. So, hopefully it does what I want it to do. I do not have any... Cobble. We're going to get us... I don't have any iron either. Iron. No. There we go. That should be fine. There's one. And there we go. And that did not go up. Go. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. Now, block placers should place blocks, if I'm not mistaken. And I don't have. And I have the right thing. So, the first thing we want to do. We want to put this ore child down. Now, those of you who don't know what the ore child does, it uses mana from a nearby mana pool, and it uh, causes it to turn into an ore. So we're going to pop down this guy here. We are going to put some stone in here. And I believe it requires a redstone signal in order to drop. And I think what we're going to do for right now is hopefully 
get us a redstone clock, which I believe I might have made one. Maybe. No, I have not. So we can do that real quick. If we go into here. There we go. Uh, I know for a fact we're going to need uh, one of you. There we go. And I want a way to turn this thing off. So we're going to go ahead and grab us a lever. There we go. And I put it all in there. Dang it. Uh, do we have regular stone in here? Yes, we do. I'm going to get me some more regular stone. I don't want... I don't want to smelt too many because I'm going to have another guy in here. Another Ignis Extruder in here. Um, probably right here. With a reservoir feeding into it. Which we might get into today. And then it'll just be producing uh, um, smooth stone instead of regular stone. Which uh, will be helpful to us. So uh, we'll see. We'll see how, how far we get. We got you now. So let's go put this guy out, and I'll show you how this works. Assuming it works the way I want it to work. <laughs> so all we have to do is place this down. There we go. And then I want to put the lever on here, right here, so I can turn this off. And then if I break this. Here, um, what do you mean I can't? What are you talking about? Hold on. My mining level is stone, and I need a copper level. Okay, <laughs> so I can't break this. So. Trying to remember my tinkers. If I put you on here, will that boost your mining level? Is the question. Take you out, put you in here, put you in here. It does not. Okay. So I'm probably going to have to use this in order to up its mining level. Which means I need to mine a bunch of stuff or, uh, shoot. I know. I know exactly what I can do. Um... Maybe I'm just spelling it wrong. Okay, so th that will work. And how do I make dark steel? I need obsidian. Coal powder. Okay, I can totally do this. It's cool. Uh, do we have any lava left in our thing over here? I think I refilled it. I did not. <laughs> uh, awesome. Let's get you going. And we're just going to leave that for right now. So, for right now... I can make, can I make, ten level, <laughs> and I can use this for right now, actually, hold on,
Will that work? Can I turn you into... I can. It says iron level, but that would allow us to mine that. Part out, not like that. I have to uh, plastic. There we go. I have to repair this first, I believe. So if I repair you, yes, and then switch you out for this. Now that does drop my durability dramatically. I'm just gonna stick this guy back in here. But, I can now break the stuff over here. So. Okay, so that did not work. So we need to actually put this guy on the block. Okay, okay. so now if I break you... I guess we're going to have to use this after all. Get outside. Anyway, I'm going to have a, a, a block. I want to do a block breaker because it would be the easiest one. And I can just uh, send a signal around to here and have it break the block as it approaches the block. But I need three diamonds for that, and I don't have three diamonds. so. Okay, so that worked. Good. I just wanted to make sure that it was going to stop. There we go. Now we can just stand here all day. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my... <laughs> so, if I change the setup on this, I can have one on each side here. Uh, this would probably be here, and then I have a block breaker here, and then I can do that again on multiple sides here to get more ores from this single plant without actually having to do anything. And I can also set it up to where it feeds in stone from our um, igneous extruder, which is probably going to be going over here against this wall. So it's going to be pretty good. Pretty good. Ooh, uh oh. Can't, can't do that one. <laughs> get a better pick. I want to get a block breaker. Um, I might do that this episode because it's, it's driving me nuts. It really is. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to open our little bags in there. And I think we're pretty much going to call it an episode. Something else I was wanting to do. What was it? Oh, our second igneous extruder. We want to get it up and running inside here. Which means we need a reservoir. Hmm. Let's put this stuff up. All right, let's open these bags real quick. Some... Um... Sneakinator? No clue what that does. Looks like it just holds food. Sweet. Um, and last but not least... Ooh, a flux crystal. That's nice. And some flame string. Cinder pearls. That is all awesome stuff. I'm put all that in here for now. 
Okay, the first thing we want to do is do a reservoir. In order to do a reservoir, um, let's do Ender. Reservoir. Uh, we need glass and we need the cauldron, which we can get, but we also need fused quartz, which require nether quartz. We just so happen to have some nether quartz. We don't have that much of it, but we do have a little bit. And it should be enough to give us what we need, hopefully. If not, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to farm more materials between now and the next episode. <laughs> uh, no. So that gives us three, which means... I don't think that's going to be enough, actually. No, that was only two. Let me look down here. Might have to set up some auto... Uh, Some auto uh, soul sand. That might be worth doing. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Awesome. Come on. It's weird it does that. There we go. And then do we have enough iron? I don't think so. Enough for one. Actually, we have a whole crap ton here of the dust, and I have some more of the dust here, so we should be able to just hit this off right here. And what I've been doing is taking this right here and just switching these out. Yeah. As you see, you can't pulverize pulverized, so it won't go into the thing. So you don't have to worry about that. I want to get enough for one more, and then I'll just uh, cook that up real quick. Come on. And I think I can just put that in there. Oh, is, is 32 of their max? I might have to put some upgrades in that then. There we go. That should give us enough to make the cauldron. Uh, to make the Ignis Extruder, I'm going to need more than that though, so. 10. This takes so long. Let's go ahead and sleep. And actually, I do need some glass. Uh, let's get some glass out of here. I made some more glass off camera, so we've got plenty in here. Come on. There we go. So we have two cauldrons. There we go. Put those in the middle, put you here, and then it's glass on both sides. That gives us reservoirs. And I want to put this right here, so we will just pop this up right here. Actually, I think I'll do it like this. There we go. 
and I will put you two back like that. There we go, put those in there. And now we will get our bucket here. Two buckets of water in there. There we go. Now I need another Ignis extruder. So let's look that for that recipe and see if we can uh, get that hooked up. You gonna make me look up thermal expansion? Uh, nope. Sawmill induction smelter. We do need an induction smelter too. But I'm gonna I'm gonna save that for the next episode because we're gonna next episode we're gonna upgrade our power. I got four of the solar panels. Well, I go back and show you in a second. I got four of the solar panels, so we need to. Uh, but I need. Uh, well, I'll show you. I'll show you. Ignis extruder. So we need copper. We need some iron, glass, and a piston, and some tin. I should have all that. Just enough. Sweet. And more iron should be ready. In a second. So that should be the iron. Let me go up here and show you. So I made two more of these solar panels here. Now I was gonna go ahead and make the other the uh, upgraded tier three solar panel here. Um but Tier 3 requires that you make these, which requires you to have an induction smelter so you can smelt a mirror with a uh, lapis. Uh, it's not that difficult, otherwise all this other stuff I can make really easily. And I have the four things. So, yeah. So I gotta get an induction smelter going next episode to upgrade our power. So that's what we're gonna work out on then. Also, we're gonna work out automating our little machine over here. So that should be enough. Okay, so let's go back to Ignis extruder. Okay, so first things first, we need a piston. should give me this one. There we go. Got another Ignis extruder. I'm going to put it right here by the door. Or right underneath the window. Right there by the door because I'm going to have to put something on top of that also. Um, if we set the bottom to input here. Alright, so and I think... I think we're going to have to wrench that. Yeah, I think we're going to have to take the wrench here and do that. And then we should be able to place that down now. And it, yeah, okay, now that's filling up the water. Cool. And we do want this to be stone. So let's see if our uh, lava here is ready for us. Sweet. Come on. 
and there we go. And now, what we got? There's a chest. Cool. That's exactly what we needed. Chest here, two here and here. This will give us. And there we go. Look at that, guys. Regular stone. Cobblestone. <laughs> uh, we're going to get another one of these. So, like, it's going to be irritating. But we're going to get another one of these over here. Or we might just move all of this over there. Nah, I think we're going to make another one. Um, next episode. Next episode, we are going to automate this. Uh, we're going to get some uh, sand thrown in here and get an automatic soul sand production going up and up on that one. Uh, we're going to automate this over here. I'm going to do a couple of... Um, I'm going to save a couple of blocks of uh, gravel and see if we can't get another diamond so I can get a block breaker out here. And then I can just put this guy right here. And if I'm not mistaken... They, it, it'll activate them both at the same time, but it shouldn't be a problem. And then I can have it output to a chest, and that'll be uh, good enough um, ore production for me. <laughs> for the beginning, we'll see how that goes. I also need to uh, automate the uh, throwing down of some coal up there, but uh, we'll get around to that. Anyway, if you like this episode, make sure you hit smack that like button. If you subscribe to my channel, I'll send you notifications when I have new videos out. You come check them out and see if you like them. If you do like this episode and you want to share it with your friends, tell them how much you like it. There's a share tab down below. Click on the share tab, copy the link, post it on your Facebook, Twitter, wherever you do social media. And I will see you guys on the next episode.